Hello everybody, this is Matt Cat Spear, and I just wanted to show you guys a little bit in my uh, bedroom a little bit, my house a little bit. This is my laptop, my girlfriend's laptop, and uh, my bed and everything. It's not that great, but this is the very basic room that we have, you know, in my one-bedroom apartments. But we're doing pretty well here, and I want to talk about, um, I'm sorry for uploading videos like this for my cell phone. It's kind of a little bit cheap. I know you guys want better quality, but sometimes I have a message to give you guys, you know, um, that's just worth the time. And um, I want to give you guys a message about, um, you know, how to live your life. In that, to live your life, you have to just live it the way that you want to live it. That's just the role that you chose. We all chose roles that we wanted to live. And so in a way, we cannot be blamed for doing the things that we do. Because we chose roles that were inherent or innate in violent acts or in addictive acts, drugs or alcohol. We chose roles that 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 we had no that that we we knowingly knew that we were gonna fall in the path of addiction or violence toward others. So, if the spirit guide and if God approves this role, then how can it? Then how can we be blamed for 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 something that they approve for a role that they themselves approved? Not only them but us. So how can we be the bad guy? How can we when we die? After doing all bad things like being a, you know, um, being a, a violent killer or being an alcoholic rapist or a drug addict or whatever the meanest thing you can think of, how is it that in death that we're going to be at a lower level? We're going to die at a lower level because we chose a role that was very challenging, but that we were, it was going to be very difficult to fight off urges of raping and doing drugs and alcohol, and that even God... The positive energies that that be and the spirit guide and everybody around us approved us to 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 let us be involved in. How then can we be blamed if they approved for this role, for us to inhabit this role, this character? So how the hell can our, our how how the hell can then we die and then be at a lower level? The spirit, the mediums say that, you know, like if you chose negative things, the bad stuff, you get into a psychosis. We're in a psychosis right now. That's how this reality works. We're in a psychosis. We're in like a, a hypnotized state. That's what. The, that's how this role works. That's how it works. We're hypnotized into the role that we can't divert from, the character and personality. And so like when we die, how can we then be, be, be blamed for doing the things that we chose that was going to be very hard to divert from? How can we lose energy and be at lower level than we were before we entered the body? That's ridiculous. How can how can God? It's kind of like a self sabotage type of thing. And so the thing is, though, is I'm trying to tell you is that is that God and and the, the spirit realm and the collective conscious and your and your um and your um spirit guide, they have to know that this is all just a learning process. It's all just a learning process. And so I know I'm going off a little bit on all stuff, but. It's kind of true, though, is that you can't be blamed for the actions that you do if you chose a role that was going to be innate and violent or, or, or addictiveness. And even if your spirit guide approves of it for you to even enter this negative personality and character what, that was innate and, 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 and very um, hard to divert from negative things, how then can you be blamed when they approved of it? And then when you die, you lose energy and you go below the level that you were before you entered the body and you can't go higher so you can reach God or whatever they say the medium saying. That's ridiculous. The thing is though is that life is about learning. It's a process of learning. Now, that's what life is, that whatever state you choose, no matter what state you choose to do, is that is that God is aware and, and, and the collective conscious, which is probably God, all of us are God, which makes one God, how then can we be blamed for something that we chose to do? How can it backfire on us if everyone before we enter the body approved of it, approved of us entering the body? So what, what that means is that um, it's kind of a contradicting thing, but is that we can't be blamed for it. We have to fight it off. It's a challenge, I suppose, to fight off urges of violence and, and drug addiction and all that stuff. But but the thing is, though, is that God, has, God, and everybody in the and the and afterlife have to realize that is that um, we can't lose energy. We can't go below. We when we die, we can't lose energy. We can't go below than the level that we were when we entered the this new body. 
They, they, they can't shun us away and put us away in a box, in an alternate dark world. They can't do that to us. So when you die, you just have to be smart and just realize and tell them, hey, you know, I chose this reality. You have to be self-aware when you die so that you can avoid being sent to a dark place because it's like self-sabotage for yourself. It's like it's very contradicting and self-sabotaging. So when you choose a role, you have to be aware. Now that we're in a new era, when you die, you have to be aware that you have to get out of that psychosis of negative a actions and elevate yourself so that you won't be sent to a dark place and go right back to heaven because it's all about learning process. It's Mad Cat Spirit. Thank you guys for watching, man. That's all I got to say.